So PlayStation 5 Pro versus PlayStation 5 Slim and do the Slim covers fit on the Pro? And the PlayStation 5 Pro is the future of gaming. Those are the stories we're going to cover today and if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it and as always, it's very much appreciated. First, yes or no, do you have a PlayStation 5 Slim or not? Obviously, one of the big stories today is this discussion around the PlayStation 5 Slim covers, but I want to know who of you out there has the PlayStation 5 Slim right now. So comment below, yes or no, if you have a PlayStation 5 Slim or not, let me know down in the comments below. Now diving into the first story of the video, PlayStation 5 Pro is the future of gaming. Reading from IGN, it's no secret that the graphics in AAA games are getting more and more complex over time, requiring more and more horsepower to render efficiently. Love it or hate it, this trend is basically guaranteed to continue. There are two ways to keep up with the compute demands of modern games right now. The most straightforward way is to build bigger and bigger GPUs and try to brute force your way through. However, anyone that's kept an eye on PC gaming will be able to tell you the price of graphics cards has gone up significantly over the last few years. Simply launching a PlayStation 5 Pro that's able to render games at native 4K resolution with all the eye candy we love would cost over a thousand dollars. There's no way around that. Instead, Sony basically took the same approach it did with the PlayStation 4 Pro. Put in a slightly different GPU, but couple it with a new upscaling engine that can approximate 4K. By going the AI route with SSR, Sony can virtually eliminate artifacts that can show up when upscaling games from a lower resolution. It's able to produce an image that looks virtually the same as native 4K, but at a much higher frame rate than otherwise. The cool part is that it's scalable. Developers can work in ray traced eye candy to their heart's content and then just use a more aggressive version of PSSR. That means they can upscale to 4K from as low as 720p and still it'll look Look decent. Though to be clear, rendering at that low of a resolution will produce a lackluster image no matter how much AI you throw at it. So, upscaling is 100% the future of gaming from what we can see so far. We've covered a bit of this on the last video, and it's becoming more and more evident to people who don't you know, really play heavily in the PC space. FSR has become more used and known over the last few years. People in the console space really didn't look at stuff like this before, but now it's here because of its necessary usage. I don't really game on PC, but I would assume people can't keep buying expensive GPUs all the time to play everything at max settings. According to Games Radar, last year 60% of PC players played their games at 1080p. It seems like people are using lower power GPUs. GPUs, then upscaling from maybe 1080p to 4K, that should give you a solid image as well. That's probably what some are doing. Regardless, I'm for upscaling and using that extra power elsewhere on ray tracing, a more dense world, higher details, performance, etc. All that good stuff. And if you're enjoying the video so far, hit that subscribe button and join our growing community on our way to 150,000 subscribers. So lighting and visual effects. as well as to the hair and the skin in cinematics. Open up, guys. Jar of orders. Good enough for me. Now, diving into the second story of the video, PlayStation 5 Pro versus PlayStation 5 Slim, PS5 Slim covers on the PlayStation 5 Pro. There's been this conversation going around that I want to discuss here, and honestly, it still remains not fully clear to me, and I wish Sony would be more clear, but let's get into this. A Tech Radar article resurfaced that originally was published on September 26, and it mentions PlayStation 5 Slim cover usage on the Pro. It stated that Sony has confirmed that the existing line of PlayStation PlayStation 5 Slim covers will be fully compatible with the PlayStation 5 Pro. That was confusing to me because I was wondering where Sony confirmed this or did they have a source or did they speak a, to a rep at Sony or something like that. I didn't find that in this article and if Sony confirmed something like this, you'd think that would be mentioned everywhere across most major websites and this would be a known thing for everyone right now, not something that is still up for debate. And the funny thing is, as of writing this story here, as of writing this video, the article has been removed. <laughs> I can't seem to find it because I really think Tech Radar was under the assumption that Sony confirmed slim covers for the Pro, but we haven't actually gotten that official word. This is what Sony officially said about covers on the PlayStation 5 Pro. 
We kept the look of the PlayStation 5 Pro consistent with the overall PlayStation 5 family of products. You'll notice that the height is the same as the original PlayStation 5 and the width is the same as the current PlayStation 5 model to accommodate higher performance specs. Players can add an Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive or swap out console covers when they become available. So when they become available is the key part here to focus on because it sounds like they're not already available, which means these are new plates specifically for the PlayStation 5 Pro. Sony directly confirmed to everyone you can use the current disk drive saying PlayStation 5 Pro is available as a diskless console with the option to purchase the currently available disk drive for the PlayStation 5 Pro separately. If the slim covers work on the PlayStation 5 Pro, why not just confirm it as directly as they have with the disk drive? This is the confusion here. More recently, we also got an Amazon Japan listing for the PlayStation 5 Pro that has a chart that showcases that PlayStation 5 slim covers don't work on the Pro, while the disk drive does work on the Pro. I will note, looking into this a bit more, PlayStation's other products here are sold by Amazon Japan, while the Pro here is listed by Japan, which seems Seems to be just a shop in Japan. Not sure if they just made this chart or this is something Sony provided to them. My original thought with the PlayStation 5 Pro was that slim covers would work. The grill it has on the PlayStation 5 Pro is there to accommodate for the taller size of the console, leaving the plates the same. That's how it seemed to me. That's how I understood it. Considering Sony won't directly confirm it like they did the disk drive, I'd hold off on buying slim covers for now. But you guys let me know if you bought the PlayStation 5 Slim disk drive or not. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. As it always helps to so subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with time to go back. So this is the end of my trip. This is the last day in Japan that I have. Not really the last day because I actually leave after I record this and hopefully I can edit this out on my journey somewhere in some airport and hopefully maybe in the airplane, something. I'm good. That's I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to edit this video directly, but it's my last day here. I'm going to be leaving. This has been a great, great trip. The last two weeks flew by TGS, all the stuff that I've gotten to see. I've been to uh, Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, amazing city. My favorite cities are Kyoto and Osaka. Tokyo is, is, is decent, mainly for TGS. That was the highlight over there. And uh, I've overall enjoyed my time here. I loved it. And I hope to come back in the future. Maybe the next TGS? I'm not sure. We'll see. But if you guys are, I guess happy i don't know the weekend i don't know something if you're excited that i went to japan sure <laughs> destroy the comment section with time to go back and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one mm -hmm.